The Tricky Master, 1999, is a Hong Kong action comedy directed by Wong Jing and starring Stephen Chow, Nick Chung, and Sandra Ng. The film blends slapstick humor, gambling antics, and light-hearted action, characteristic of Hong Kong cinema in the late 90s. While it showcases Chow's typical comedic style, it fails to reach the heights of his best works, resulting in a film that can be entertaining but often feels uneven. Plot Summary The story follows rookie cop Leung Foon, Nick Chung, who is determined to take down a notorious con artist named Ferrari, Wong Jing. After being duped and humiliated by Ferrari, Leung teams up with the tricky master, Stephen Chow, a legendary trickster known for his unconventional methods. Together, they embark on a mission to outsmart Ferrari and his band of criminals using an array of elaborate pranks and ruses. Performances, Stephen Chow, known for his distinctive style of Hemo Lei Tao, nonsensical, humor, brings his usual energy and charm to the role of the master trickster. His performance offers a mix of goofy antics and clever tricks, which fans of his will appreciate, though it doesn't break any new ground in his career. Nick Chung plays the straight man to Chow's more comedic role, giving a serviceable performance as the naive and frustrated cop. Sandra Ng as Chow's quirky love interest. Comedy in action, the film's humor is a mixed bag. Wong Jing's direction leans heavily into slapstick and over-the-top gags, which can be hit or miss depending on the viewer's taste for broad comedy. Some sequences, like the trickster training scenes or the elaborate scams, are genuinely clever and engaging. However, other moments rely too much on exaggerated facial expressions and silly sound effects, which can feel repetitive and juvenile. The action in The Tricky Master is minimal, with most of the excitement coming from trickery rather than actual fights or stunts. This is not an action-heavy film, but rather one that uses its characters' wits and schemes to drive the narrative forward. There are a few chase scenes and scuffles, but nothing particularly memorable or well choreographed. Strengths, Stephen Chow's charisma, his presence elevates the film, even when the material is subpar. Fans of his comedic style will likely find enjoyment in his performance, clever scams, some of the tricks and cons are fun to watch unfold, adding a layer of intrigue to the otherwise light plot, supporting cast, Sandra Ng and Wong Jing bring additional comic relief, and while their characters aren't fully fleshed out, they contribute to the movie's overall lighthearted tone. Weaknesses, inconsistent humor, the comedy lacks the sharpness of Chow's best works. While some jokes land, many feel forced or overly reliant on slapstick, weak plot, the storyline is thin and predictable, mostly serving as a vehicle for gags and set pieces rather than offering any substantial development, underused cast, Sandra Ang's character, in particular, feels underdeveloped, and Nick Chung's role as the straight man doesn't allow him to show much range. Direction and pacing, Wong Jing, known for his prolific output in Hong Kong cinema, brings his usual fast-paced and chaotic style to the tricky master. While the film moves at a brisk pace and never overstays its welcome at 95 minutes, it lacks cohesion. The rapid-fire jokes and scattered plotlines can feel disjointed, leaving viewers with the sense that the film is more a collection of skits than a fully realized story. Visuals and production design, visually, the film is typical of Hong Kong comedies from the late 90s, with vibrant colors and a slightly low-budget aesthetic. There are no standout action sequences or special effects to speak of, but the film's focus on cons and trickery allows it to avoid needing high production values. The settings, like casinos and training rooms, are functional but not particularly memorable. Conclusion, overall, The Tricky Master is a middling entry in Stephen Chow's filmography. It offers some laughs and entertaining moments, particularly for fans of Chow's brand of humor, but lacks the wit and creativity that make his best films stand out. The movie's reliance on slapstick and nonsensical gags might appeal to some viewers, but its uneven tone and weak plot make it a forgettable entry in the Hong Kong comedy action genre. It's a fun diversion for a lazy afternoon.